So this question asks, which quadratic equation has no real solutions, right? So one way we can solve this is by throwing each of these answer choices into Desmos. The question would be, how would you know which answer choice leads to, you know, to having no real solutions? Um, the way that you would know is that it has no x-intercepts, right? So the parabola, because these are all parabolas, the parabola that has no x-intercepts will be the correct answer. Otherwise, when we look at the term no real solutions, I always like to pay attention to the discriminant, which is um, b squared minus 4ac. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, that means we have one solution, one real solution. If it is equal to 0, that means we have, um, I'm sorry, if it's greater than 0, we have two real solutions. If it's equal to zero, we have one real solution. And if it's less than zero, we have no real solution. So just imaginary solution. So this is a situation where there's no real, right? When b squared minus 4ac is, e is less than zero. So we can just test that in each of these cases. For instance, I can test that with answer choice A and say, well, A here is one, B is 14, and C is negative 49. So is it true that 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 49 is less than 0? Definitely not, because I have, um, this is going to be positive. Negative 4 times 1 is negative, but then times negative 49 is positive. So I have two positive things added together are not going to give me a value that's less than 0. So A is gone, right? So just notice, I didn't really have to solve it to figure it out. Just kind of see, well, what would my expectations be there? I could do the same thing here, where again, A is 1. B is now negative 14, and C is positive 49. So we'd have negative 14, still in parentheses squared, so it doesn't change anything. It's still positive. Minus 4 times 1 times positive 49. Here, we may need to do a little bit of math, right, because this is positive. This is going to be negative. The question is, will this value here be greater than this value there? So I'll go to my calculator and see what is 14, or what is negative 14 squared? And what I get is that that is, let's see, 196. And then what is 49 times 4? I think we're going to get it here. 49 times 4 is, oh, it's also 196, right? So this actually ends up equaling 0. So that's in this situation. So that's also um, not going to be correct. For choice C, A is now 5, B is negative 14, and C is negative 49. So I could say, again, B squared, negative 14 squared, which we know is 196, minus 4 times A is 5, times C is negative 49. Once again, that's going to all be positive, so we're going to be adding to something else, so there's no chance that that's less than 0. So C is gone. So D must be the correct answer where again, A is 5, B is negative 14, but this time C is positive 49. So negative 14 squared minus 4 times A times C. And we know that that is a positive 196, but then negative 4 times 5 is 20 times, sorry, negative 20 times positive 49 is negative 180. I'm sorry, negative 980. And yes, 196 minus 980 is less than zero. So choice D is the correct answer.